Hey everyone, this is Noel with creationeffects.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create text that's writing out with ink that's spreading or bleeding on the paper. Um, there are plenty of tutorials out there that show you how to make text that just kind of fades in and it looks like it's seeping through the paper. But I'm talking about text that's writing out letter by letter. Normally the only way to do that would be to create masks around every letter and then animate the masks to reveal each letter. Um, that's a lot of work and it takes a lot of time. So I'm going to show you a different way uh, that's easy and it lets you create a really high quality animation that looks like ink spreading on paper. I'm going to be using a tool, it's called Wisp for After Effects. Um, it's from creationeffects.com. There's a link in the description. Wisp will let you create trails of particles that look like different things. So lightning or fire or liquid, um, ice, glitter, sparkles, bubbles, all that good stuff. It has 50 presets and ink is just one of those presets. So let me show you how to do it. Uh, I'm in the Wisp template right now and there is a 4K and an HD option here. These have all the 50 presets in them. I'll just open the HD one and I'll scroll down to the one that says ink bleed and I'll open that up. And let me just play that back. So you can see we've got that nice spreading ink effect on here. Um, let me break down what's going on here. We've got three ink bleed layers. They each look like something a little bit different. Um, and they all follow this looping path here. And that's because they're all following this target one layer. If I unhide that, um, and I'll solo it actually. It's going on this loop path because I've animated it to move that way. If I reveal the position keyframes, you can see the keyframes here. So these layers each have a CC particle world effect on them. Um, so they're emitting particles and they're all programmed to follow this target one layer. So all we need to do to have text write out is to animate this target layer to move along the path of some text. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to hide all these first and then I'll just write out some text. I'll use my text tool and I'll just write out something simple. I'll do ink and you can see I've got it really big because I like to make things big and then scale them down. Everything looks better when it's scaled down. And I'll lower the opacity. It doesn't need to be so dark. And uh, let's just delete the keyframes that are already on there and start fresh. And I'll go to the first frame and uh, I'll unhide that target layer. Maybe scale it up a little bit so it's easier to work with. And um, with my selection tool, I'll just move it into place. Let's do the N first. You would just start wherever you would normally start writing that letter if you were writing with a pen. So that would be up here. And uh, I hit the P key to bring up the position and I'll add that first keyframe for right here. And I usually like to add the beginning and end keyframes first. I'll go forward two and a half seconds or so and I'll bring it down here. And I'll just go somewhere in between and I'll drag that into place and maybe one more keyframe. And then you can use these handles to fine tune the path. Right now these keyframes aren't perfectly spaced out. So the speed that the target layer moves may not be consistent from keyframe to keyframe, um, just because of the way that I put in these keyframes. Um, but if you select them all and then right click, you'll see an option that says rove across time. And that'll make the speed constant from beginning to end. All right, we can unhide these now and maybe we'll play it back and see what that looks like. All right, cool. We just need to do that again for the eye. Um, but first, let me show you something real quick. If, if this is too thick for you or too messy for you, there are these customization controls on each of these layers. Um, just select it and look in the effect controls panel and you'll see a ton of different controls which you can use to customize the look of the ink. So of course you've got color here and size. So that affects the width. And there's a whole tutorial. If you do buy this, this product, there's a whole tutorial that shows, goes through all of these controls. 
um, so you can get the most out of it. Um, birth rate, so you can stop the, em the emitting of particles if you wanted to. And even there's a turbulent displace, and which you can control with these down here. Um, that affects how messy it is and kind of this, the warping behavior of the ink. So lots of options in here, uh, just something to keep in mind. So we just need to do what we did with the N uh, for the I and the K. So let me just do that real quick. You can just select all those layers, the target and the ink bleed layers, and just duplicate them. Go to Edit and then Duplicate or Command or Control D. I'll put these on top. Now we can animate this target too, but these ink bleed layers are still programmed to follow target one. So we need to select those and then if you look at the first control on each layer, it says target layer. So we would just need to set that to target two and do that for each layer. All right, now these ink bleeds will follow this target two layer. I'm gonna hide everything to make it faster and then I'll just animate that target two to follow the path of the eye. Now there's a little gap in here between the dot and the line so I might just go forward one frame and then bring it up here. And then it can just sit there for the remainder of the animation and it'll, it'll keep spreading and emitting particles. And we just do that one more time for the K. Duplicate those layers and bring them down here. Tell these to follow target three. All right, I've done all three letters. If you want them to write out in succession, so I have the I first and then the N and then the K, you can just select each group of layers and just drag them over. All right, and let me hide the text layer. Since I wanted to scale this down, um, what you would need to do is pre-compose all of the ink layers. So I'll select the target and the ink bleed layers and then I'll go to composition or go to layer and then pre-compose. That puts them all on one layer, which we can now scale down to whatever size we want. So there you go. Much easier than animating a bunch of masks. And as you can see, it's a really nice looking effect. So uh, thanks for watching. If you want to check out Wisp, go to the link at the description and I'll see you in the next tutorial.